So, turns out that a few classes can become semi-permanently unhittable in melee when fighting boss level enemies in TBC. However, the only classes that can do this in Phase 1 are the Hunter and the Rogue. Even better, they can do this in pre-raid gear with no profession or race requirements. Thanks to 70 upgrades for providing such an awesome stat weighting and character gearing tool. Big shout out to them because this would be way more tedious without it. So, here's how you do it. Get this kind of gear, get these buffs, and make sure these debuffs are up on the boss the whole fight, or you get a chance to die to melee attacks. I've heard rumor that bosses maintain a tiny chance to hit even when you have full avoidance. I'm not sure if that was ever put to the test, but rogues have cheat death, and hunters don't. So if you want to play it safe, then rogue would be safer. Here are the stat weights I used. Rogues get 1% dodge chance for every 20 agility, but they can pick up the Sinister Calling talent to increase their total agility by 15%. You also need Blessing of Kings from a friendly paladin. This makes your stat weights skewed in favor of agility. Hunters are an enigma. Old references from trusted sources indicate either 25 agility, 26 agility, or even 26.5 agility for 1% dodge. I went with 26.5 just to be safe, and hunters still knock it out of the water. This is because of their aspect of the monkey, granting them huge, flat dodge chance. Hunters also have access to an agility increasing talent called lightning reflexes, but due to their lower agility to dodge scaling, you actually need almost 900 agility for one point in lightning reflexes to be superior to one point in the cat-like reflexes talent from the beast mastery tree. You need some points in both for maximum dodge, but you can't fill both. And early on in TBC, 900 agility is not realistically doable, so you're better off going for cat-like reflexes if you're maximizing dodge. Professions make everything smoother. Jewel Crafters gems are better than non-Jewel Crafters gems for avoidance. Enchanters plus four all stats ring enchants are pure extra agility, and engineering goggles are going to be your ultimate avoidance best in slot for the head. The more avoidance you can bring yourself, the less you'll need to rely on your party members wearing certain pieces of gear. Hunters and rogues both deal very low threat. Hunters, because they don't have too many melee abilities to begin with, and rogues, because they have a built-in permanent 20% reduction in threat output. I don't know how much threat one would do in a full avoidance setup, but it would be low enough that most wouldn't want to use an unhittable tank in Phase 1 of TBC. Not to mention, the lack of stamina means that non-physical attacks would be far harder to recover from and possibly one-shot you. Now, rogues also have a side method that requires even less gearing and consuming and buffing for avoidance and grants them more threat options, and that's through the mongoose enchant, as well as other short duration buffs and debuffs. I made a video about that that you can check out in the description. Also, just to make things clear for everyone, in order to become unhittable in melee, you need 100% combined chance to avoid an attack. This combines dodge chance, parry chance, and enemy mischance. Bosses come with a built-in minus 0.6% on each of those things, for a total of minus 1.8%. But your goal is still 100%. For example, druids can't parry, so you only subtract minus 1.2% when calculating for them. Here's my math in case anyone wants to check it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, or if I got anything wrong, and go crazy.